timed to coincide with the COP26 climate change conference, the IPCC released its 2021 report, The Physical Science Basis. It was edited by a distinguished group. The summary for policymakers presented a high-level summary of key findings on the physical science basis of climate change. But on examination, there were two major highlights that were very questionable. The miscalculation of global warming and the miscalculation of anthropogenic global warming. How much of global warming is because of mankind's activities? A forthcoming video will look at this point too. However, this video will look at the miscalculation of global warming. In the report, the IPCC stated that the likely range of total human-caused global surface temperature increased from 1850 to 1900 to the period 2010 to 2019 is 0 0.8 degrees Celsius to 1.3 degrees Celsius, with a best estimate of 1.07 degrees Celsius. But this calculation was based on the comparison of a 10-year period, 2010 to 2019, with the so-called pre-industrial period of 1850 to 1900. The calculation thus contravenes the definition of global warming issued by the IPCC itself. For the avoidance of doubt, we look at how the IPCC defines global warming. Global warming is expressed relative to the period 1850 to 1900, which is used an approximation of pre-industrial temperatures, which is in line with the 2021 report. But going further, the definition of global warming is defined as an increase in combined surface air and sea surface temperatures averaged over the globe and over a 30-year period. So using a 10-year period in the 2021 report contravenes the IPCC definition of global warming. The IPCC itself criticises the use of shorter periods when it highlights that the globally average surface temperature exhibits substantial decadal and interannual variability, as we all know. And therefore, due to this natural variability, trends based on short records are very sensitive to the beginning and end dates and do not, in general, reflect long-term climate trends. We can look at the difference this use of a 10-year period makes to the calculation of global warming. For this, we are unable to use the NOAA data, as it only extends back to 1880. We need 1850. We will therefore use the Hadcrut 5 data, which tracks global temperature anomalies relative to period 1961 to 1990. We start with the IPCC 2021 report and its use of the period 2010 to 2019 to measure global warming. The average anomaly for the pre-industrial period 1850 to 1900 is 0.35650217.1 degrees Celsius. The average anomaly for the 10-year period 2010 to 2019 is 0.73490656.9 degrees Celsius. The increase in global average temperature, that is global warming, is therefore 1.091 etc. degrees Celsius, which we truncate to 1.09 degrees Celsius which is approximately that of the IPCC best estimate of 1.07 degrees Celsius. We will now carry out the calculation using a 30-year period as specified by the IPCC. 
So instead of 2010 to 2019, we use 1990 to 2019. The average anomaly, 1850 to 1900, of course remains the same. The average anomaly, 1990 to 2019, is 0.5253071961996 degrees Celsius. So, global warming since 1850 to 1900 for this 30-year period is therefore 0.881, etc., which truncated comes to 0.88 degrees Celsius. We can now calculate by how much the IPCC exaggerated global warming in its 2021 report, The Physical Science Basis. The IPCC's best estimate was 1.07. The correct calculation comes to 0.88, the difference being 0.19, which amounts to an exaggeration of 21.59%. 21.59%. This should not be regarded as a trivial error. The plans for net zero by 2030 or 2050 are based on such calculations. But there is an even greater exaggeration in the report. And that is the miscalculation of anthropogenic global warming. How much global warming is due to the activities of human beings. This will be covered in a future video. For now, we conclude with the fact that in its 2021 report, the IPCC exaggerated the increase in global average temperature since 1850 to 1900 by 21.59%. This community combines the topics of climate change, COVID-19 and the new world order. If you would like to join our community, you can find us on locals.com. The new world order. This link will take you directly to our site.